are you doing wrong? And it's a really good tool that we have in Clang. It's the static analyzer, which is, um, I don't know if anyone have heard about it, but it's really useful to find lots of mistakes. And it's, it's also integrated in some other tools. And it works really well. You should give it a try. <coughs> So um, for the other tools we have in LVM, for example, once you use the front end to generate any IR, um, you can, for example, we have the, the standalone ops tool, which is the tool responsible for running optimizations on the bit codes on the IR files. So for example, you can um, you can use like normal switches like you have in DCC, minus 0, minus uh, 01, 02, 03. But you also can specify uh, each transformation by itself or each analysis separately. So for example, um, here for uh, uh, um, something very simple, you can get a bit code file like at .bc, uh, run minus 03 on it, and you can output um, another bit code file containing uh, the optimized code, optimized code. It's interesting because you can uh, apply one optimization, write it to a file, and then you can, um, ahead of time, apply another optimization on that file. And you can do it again like as much as you want um, without invoking any backend stuff, something of the like. So here's an example of the, the, the Ops tool. Now you have the, the LLC tool, which is the low level compiler. We use it to invoke the backends. We can either generate assembly or object code with it. So for example, if we, for the bit code we have there, if we use, uh, if we want to compile it for an ARM target, we can just pass like mens, minus m arch ARM, uh, get the bit code file, and we can output assembly <coughs> from it, or we could also, using a switch called uh, minus file object equals uh, minus file object, we can also emit direct object code using LLC. We also have, um, LLVM has interesting stuff right now because uh, from one, one year and a half from now, um, we start developing an integrated assembler in this assembler. So for example, if you're writing C code and you have like lots of inline as inside it, um, during the compilation, we'll parse those inline as, transform it to real instructions inside the LDM representation, get it together to the other normal stuff that was there, like the other IR, IR code, for example, and we can run optimizations in everything together. So you can have your inline as code optimized, for example. So we have an integrated as parser inside the compiler as with the assembler and the disassembler. So for example, we have a tool to just test that and that you can use it as, a, as, a, as the assembler or the disassembler, which we call a uh, low-level machine code. So for example, if we get that simple ARM code, we just do an addition and returns, uh, and we run it to LLVMMC, and we ask to show the encodings, it will parse the code, it will get the equivalent um, code, gen code generator for that, for that instruction, and we'll uh, yell to us the, the right encoding for the instruction. I don't know if it's, you can see it? It's okay. Uh, you, you are on the phone. So um, we can do, as we can do the opposite, we can just put the encoding in a text file and call the tool that it would yell like the assembly representation for that instruction. So it's really, it's, it's really good. We, we, we had a problem in the past with that because we were not able to emit object code without depending on an external assembler because we were not able to recognize inline assembly. So that's really great right now. It's not working for all targets, but it works for x86 and R and works really great for those two targets. And uh, besides that, we have like the just-in-time compiler, which is also integrating the LLVM infrastructure. So we have the tool which is called LLI, which is the low-level interpreter, um, which you can give in a bit code file. Um, just to clarify things, uh, we, it's also the IR, the, R, the, the IR 
or, or the lev low level virtual machine, it's it's equivalent to any language that mm -hmm. has bytecode stuff, but for random reasons, people in the LLVM community just decided to call it bitcode instead of bytecode, but it's the same thing. So you can like invoke the LLI2 to a bitcode file, and it will uh, run stuff from your target, be that like x86 or ARM. Or you can also use the execution engine library, which will uh, permit you to mix, for example, you can, you can, you can load a you can load a bit code from memory. You can also load a, a dynamic library at the same time, and you can run stuff uh, from which one of you want. You can run stuff and git from bit code, and you can also mix that with uh, code that is running native already. You know, um, I had a question. Uh, when you say x86, do you mean just 32-bit or also also 64? 64, yeah. Also 64. It's because like we only have uh, we don't have separate targets for them. It's it's all written in the same library, so I just put the name x86, but it, okay. it's for people. <coughs> um, any questions so far? Why is it same library? Sorry? Why is it same library? Oh, because um, a lot of stuff, it's, it's really common to generate, you know, okay. you just need to have the right encoding depending if it's 32 or 64. Okay. Um, is there a plug-in architecture or libraries for handling different assembly language syntaxes in mind? Yeah, yeah, we have like, we do, since it's written in C++, we do a lot of stuff using uh, overloading and stuff. So uh, for the common, for the common, just like we have, we have some, some stuff that we, we use as standard, like suppose that all, most of the assembly language uh, support that kind of syntax. But for those that 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 doesn't support, you can like overload the function and write your custom stuff, you know. But you can do that. It's like not all targets right now support disassembly in assembly, but um, it's it's just a matter of of um, using inheritance for the common class and start doing for your own target. It's not like you know. It's everything mixed. The descriptions of the instructions. I, I will show that later. But it's everything mixed, it and you can. Um, once you, you describe instruction, you automatically generate the info, information you need for the assembler and disassembler and so on. Okay. Uh, volatile assembler. If you use inline assembly, uh, GCC guarantees that the assembly block marked as volatile will not be moved or rearranged. And that does the LLVM make same guarantees, or it will, when you optimize stuff, it will rearrange yeah, stuff? You, you, it's like it, it parses in the same way, so it, it it will like consider the clover list and stuff like that, and also um, it will guarantee you that the raster allocator will do the right job, the same way that you see does. It will guarantee for you. At to this point, is everything okay? What is uh, what mechanisms do you have for warning control, both on entire modules and inline? Warning controls. Yeah, if you want to turn warnings, specific warnings on and off. For example, maybe one library has got a bunch of warnings that you don't want to change, or there's one warning inside a file that you're okay with, and you just want to disable it for that segment. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure we have like good support for it. You know, like you're saying for general hand, er, error rendering stuff, and for for C bank, C or C plus plus language warnings. Okay. Oh, that's handled in the front end. But um, you can you can uh, I'm not sure if Clang has like several like several verbal level or something like that. But um, I know it supports everything that GCC does, and it also has some custom stuff that people from Clang community uh, decided to do as good things. But I'm not sure uh, right now if uh, how good that is. You know, you, I can check that for you later. And, to this point, is everything right? Okay. Uh, we also have the leap LTO, which is, for example, using the Goat plugin in the linker. We can um, we can mix uh, bit code stuff and native object code. So during linking, uh, for example, Goat can gather uh, information about functions used in a bit code file and do optimizations based on that. This is really interesting and 
my shoes. 